okay education purpose only no recommendation now question answer time so uh so you can guys can ask questions uh anything else want to know we can detail discuss your any doubts you guys see my screen right yes we can see okay okay so let's let's have a question guys so uh let's let's until you guys have a question let me add some more information so when you go to the time frame time smaller time frame okay this information what i provided is still in this is still in useful information this is like still going to use for like you, uh, apple right you see it was a down but here you got a, in the day open down got a big green candle and it took us little bit up now little bit up it mean 122.50 so 50 60 cent to one dollar if it is taking you up what that mean you are making in the how much minute how many minutes you are five minute chart half an hour you can see that it's going up right you see so many down here look at here so many candles with tail coming in right what it's saying the buyers are coming in market will open here this is the opening place where uh, i think 9 30 so it's a 12 o'clock so market came here when you start seeing the too many tail candle what you have to think what your thinking process thinking caps should be like market is down entire uh, people are looking at the market is like they are afraid but what you see you start seeing that tails are coming in and not one there is a number of tails are coming this is a nice price once you start getting green good green candles you can start you can use this candle also you can if you think this is still too early you can use this candle you you have to define because it's a day trading i can't give you the day trading like uh, rules but you have to have put the some rules around it okay and it has to be big means it has to be big means it has not every candle you can make it big or small okay it has to be big to take our trigger so after this tails it came down but then again you got a big candle so look at the three or four candle and you see this will has to be like when you seeing this candle it has to it looks like this so if you compare few candle later it's not big this is a big red candle you are afraid here but when you see this one you see the what particular this time frame it's saying number of tail candle it give you the big green candle this will give you in a five minute chart you have to make 50 cent not on 100 dollars stock so it that is the next rules means how how to define the rules right so your maximum loss is here and you can make it like 30 cent 50 cent in that particular time period just looking at the our candles that what you learn today that okay this number of tails are telling me that it's a buyers here and now i got a big green candle will give me 50 cents in a day that particular day if it is stock is 50 dollar it should be 15 20 cents right so that way we we can take the trade if you are planning to do but once change the market and go to the longer time frame now i am on a weekly chart weekly chart look at the weekly chart what you see here after few days down day first big tails are coming in what is telling you that buyers are start coming in now how can i get the confirmation about it look at the left right there was some time when stock spending here stock was here it was taking down it tried to take down but buyer came in buyer came in so this is a good place night last time it was trying to buy out okay then big candles so we had like few things we added how 
we are just talking about buyer and sellers we are not talking any indicator we are not talking any uh, a volume indicator or because we are going to select only those stocks which is higher volume so volume will be like okay whatever we don't need to worry about and we are on the weekly stock weekly means we are just looking on friday what i am going to do for next few weeks so this is simple now but stop loss is not here means this is we if you are doing on weekly you are doing only those stock which is you are going to hold for life and you are going to invest more if it is going down because it will be like 30 40 percent of uh candle uh if goes down so you can start your position start from above here because it is a tail candle it start take giving you above on that last week high you can start your position up again we came here again it stop it here and got a big green candle we didn't bought it because it's not like we are not having any indicator here it's left is still telling that it's a buy but we here it might go up down right it's not going up also so this is a really big green candle what is going to happen we have to buy some part of it something we have to add it and hold it until it start closing below right and it's going up again it came down but it's not sustained here it's just smaller candle again it goes up up up, up. now way up what you see you see the tail above next try to saying that okay i am still going up the buyers it's a good stock they are trying to buy it out but they are losing here once they lose here just get out of it because this is our long term portfolio they are not able to sustain this tail the lose buyers are losing here the sellers are winning this is telling okay we are lose our battle get out of it then we'll see uh, still we are seeing the small green candle we don't care because it's not that big yet this red b grade this is b grade i am still not convinced right here but if you see this one it started above this green uh, red candle it took few days but it start closing above this red candle so what happened these sellers are done here it gave a small tail here no upper tail so no sellers is the good price here why we came here okay that's something happened here left okay now few days few weeks it spent here and start closing above now we close this all sellers is gone and this is a nice price this is our talking about portfolio in ira or retirement or wealth building portfolio okay weekly chart we are talking so it start going up we can wait for this week and we can ignore this red candle ignore also key we can add and what is our risk here our risk is here it start closing here you can reduce your price instead of adding just reduce or just hold it until it give you the again big green candle or again nice uh, thing right and then again it's going up remember this this will come in the picture who bought it here somebody bought it here this is a green candle when you see here what do you see that okay one two three week it came down and we got a big green candle i bought something here and now what happened entire six month whatever it's a weekly candle for six months it's coming back i am afraid i am paying interest on whatever my account what i am going to do is try to book some profit if it is coming up i will try to book some profit okay so booking some profit here if it is i, I like to come here and see the candles here but it's still not bad it try to come here but it start going down again we see one two big green candle losing it's a apple stock people are still interested more uh people are buyer means apple is etf are holding and more things are holding so green candle we are not afraid this is the game of like every time what our signal comes we have to follow our rule so big green candle you buy something again you see what after few months you see tail candle coming in you book some profit here you will wait for here now these two candles will wait for it 
like this particular part we don't want to do anything because stock don't know what to do these guys are trying to sell these guys who got stuck here they are trying to sell this guy this was a green candle right this tail come before that it was a green candle people are buying and cheering up they were forgetting about that okay this time we are going to break this but it came back so this was a green candle close as a red entire week it was green and close red so what's going to happen it take time here again takes time now we are breaking above now nicely break above so think about this is a big big red candle this entire thing is a big red candle Uh, sorry man it's not working but think about this is an entire green big red candle now green candle comes in and closing above so what we do we will wait for this three candle and nice green candle closing above and it says okay this is clear up now we can buy next time it again start giving up coming back you see last time it was here and it was having trouble uh green candle coming in big with the tail down there buyers are coming in you can start dipping here dipping here we'll think about little bit booking profit but once we are clearing the last side it's clear up we'll see okay then that might be every few weeks every few months you will go and check it out your portfolio and uh, you just book little bit you add more little bit you book something and have cash this is a b grade candles coming in right now what is the location we are here right now you see the location this was selling point this here selling point we are trying to sustain here coming back and trying to means whenever we come here it's going up it's coming down this is not that great place it has to cross it will take some time so overall market also if you see right now is start giving you the candle they don't know where to go and look at it it's like a standing stick right it's not good it has to little bit come down and then go up come down and go up so there has to be some base right now there is no base so at least we can start looking at here that market has to come here and then go up market has to come down somewhere make a base here if we are having a free money right now that is okay but right now market don't know where to go they don't have any location uh, means uh, power now that candles are very smaller and smaller and getting the tail up not a good idea okay so that is saying that it can go down this can take down q q q this is also market you will see this goes up come down this is our uh, microsoft apple and everything is a uh, tech index come down come down come down now it's trying to break this one so tech is still good but this two candle is saying it has to come down if we sustain here that's fine if this breaks it can come here okay so market can go anywhere means we can't say market is going which side we don't know but what we are guessing look this candle if we can buy i am long term buyer i am going to be friday i just add something here next week it will be down but this was the location for me that okay really buyers coming in so i added here i will be like 3 2 3 weeks not having any profit but it goes in the end it will go up because it was a green nice green candle that is what i bought it okay after few red candles i bought it green candle and then it goes up now it's a b grade candle coming in i should and it started touching the low the going down the low that is give me something like okay it's not good not good idea right but second candle again it's closing up so it's playing right now it's not able to do anything same thing happened it's come here tired come down two tail candle coming in and it's going up now 
so these two tail candle give little bit confidence candle uh, with the this arrow down after few red candle is not that difficult means it's not bad but it's only saying they don't know where to go right now they are just waiting once it's break it once nice without tail candle close it it will go up so no tail on top is going to give you more confidence right so that is what is all about psychology behind these candles and i hope i provided some information useful information for you guys which uh, can be utilized okay so mayur bhai this would reconfirm one thing no tail on the top meaning is a bullish market more like bullish yeah more bullish so tail is telling you something right tail has a psychology behind it no tail has a psychology behind it and it should be a big no small we don't have to worry about smaller one ignore mm-hmm. those just worried about big tail big uh, candles bullish candles or rare or bear candles mayur bhai yes sir can we go back to apple please uh so are we talking about day, um, day trading or are we talking about long position yeah, weekly so once my time frame is defined right if mm-hmm. i am on 5 minute if i go 5 minute it will be i am trading on means 5 uh, minute chart maybe next 30 minute i am going to hold it if okay I'm, i see i am doing day trading i will hold for week or month or some time and i am doing weekly i will hold for some week some month right so when you look at the weekly say for little long term yes, yes. Uh, there is uh, is it 116 there is floor is coming around 116 there is a big red candle uh, so, this candle right this one we are have 140 is last nice closing price for weekly mm-hmm. it has to close nicely 140 above to go above Okay. or hover around here and then it, this seller goes here and somebody is trying to buy it all everything here mm-hmm. uh, so it has to like 120 is nice where mm-hmm. we are getting more tails on weekly and then it goes up so this one buyers this one sellers and they are playing here right now ping pong same if you go to amazon same thing happening again mm-hmm. we came here last time you see this sellers come in we want that to break to go up if it is not breaking that it will start going up back and it can go 2900 and it can go means 28 if market is very bad touch here okay. and go back again so if i go back to apple uh if you you're on weekly right let's go to daily okay uh looks like uh, how do i zoom it a little bit yeah thank you sir so 11690 where i see a clear floor over there yeah and then 120 so if it seems like it's going down a little bit if it stays mm-hmm. above 120 and then if i see some green candles is that the trigger point to buy it or do yes. i yes. wait till it crosses okay. once it's coming here again right 120 and okay. you see this kind of coming candles like tails tails coming or a big green coming in oh. that will be like your entry point that okay now buyers are i can see the buyers don't don't jump on it but it will give you the right. this is a we don't see this is a small candle but if you see really what is it it's a green big green candle it was here yesterday somebody bought entire thing right everything and more it was here high was here so this was like a, a, yeah means yesterday somebody was trying to buy here this was also trying to buy it here this guy uh, candle was here and it bought it everything here this entire thing so bu- more buyers are coming in we can wait we can wait and allow them to get it in if you are means going long term for few days we can have it like okay we see this is coming in last left side also showing some buying we can start thinking about buying and get one particular buy and have some particular uh, 
stop loss because it's a daily so which there are no right. uh, sorry go ahead yeah last point uh, asit bhai sorry uh, the earning came last week it's now it's uh, from 136 to 131 and the way it's going 116 was a red candle now 120 was a floor it seems like uh, around 124 126 might become another floor but we have yes, to watch yes, it correct yes. yes correct means overall market also depend means something goes wrong with the market it can take down okay. if if this is broke if they okay. they broke this one then understand okay. that market is going way lower uh, okay. then it will come here and it will try to go back from here that this will become uh, ceiling right it will right now it's a floor but it becomes ceiling then okay so i have to see the confirmation first before so if start closing if it will, going down will not wait right it will be such 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 that it will like a week and you will see this is 100 if it is start going down in the market like goes crazy something happen it will be second floor will be coming here 100 104 mm. right so you will see if it is start going down it you will see that okay that that Yeah, market something happen it goes like this it's apple microsoft whatever it goes like hmm. this but if, if it is going slow it will wait here it will come back and go, come back here means okay. it's not going crazy not doing crazy anything it will be nice and stop here and come back up, above but if, hmm. if happen something it will straight goes down hmm. thank you mayur bhai no no yes asif bhai Oh, no, you you answered my question already. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, but this last uh, four five red candles, uh, you know, does it indicate anything? Uh, it's still unclear at this so, point. You know how the market. Here goes. we don't we don't worry about anything. Uh, but what we see is last side, right? Why we are having this trouble? We are having a nice result, beautiful result, and still having trouble. The same thing happened last time also. really good result what happened is come down and goes up now again we are having the same trouble so it's like right now this is the good price for sellers and this is the good price for buyers that is what happening right now so we don't have to worry about it because one, once it break 140 it will be easy to go 150 160 and then come back and again taste this place and go up right so we need to, to go up actually... come back taste it and go up then it we are sure that it's going up exactly okay right now we are just uh, trading means it's a trading stock now it has a trouble here so this area will always be trouble this is getting means uh, this is the area right now which is a good place where buyers will come because this was the area where they try to spend some time they broke it and then it's going up okay so when when a uh, little bit extra means we are going now with a 1131 class one so i i talk about higher high right so this is a high this is second high so when you see okay it gone down you don't worry about this you wait for this this is not lower than this last low then you start thinking about okay now i got a green my candle what i am going to do is i start thinking about adding here trying to find the opportunity here not here i see opportunity here i can take the trade if i see this is a lower low but i don't want to because it's so much selling going on right uh, it might be two days and then can come back here because it's broke the here it came for so fast so afraid of it so now it goes up it come down you try to buy it here it waited and then broke up now again it's going up it came down so it's broken here once it got it in it came here it's been sustain here and then it will go up so it will spend some time and then it will go up because market has free money so much money until we screw up something really big or something really politician are saying stuff and uh, adding some tax or something so adding tax will be not good for this year if they add tax market will go down for sure uh, that's nothing going to change overall 
but what is happening they they have to move their money out of us and means who has a money they will move around money where no tax they are not going to pay the tax for sure we are going to pay the tax so they will remove the money and then move around and then uh, come back from other places where no tax are they talking about tax on the wealthy or yeah, also wealthy on the tax, corporation right? yeah i will charge you 60% uh, i am not going to have my investment here i will invest somewhere else <laughs> why i will invest no, it, here? <laughs> also on the corporations or no yes they are talking about means wealthy plus uh, corporation oh, yeah that going to definitely affect so they, that will if they do anything like that they are trying to bargain i think for uh, other thing but if they do anything like that and pass it on that will be bad bad for the market but, but otherwise if we have so much free money it will go up for sure market is not coming down it will survive, sustain here somewhere go down up down up down but not like falling up but if they change anything big it will take down the market for sure any other questions Okay, so looks like we are good to go. Thank you, Mayor Bay. Oh, you're welcome. Thank sir. you, Mayor Bay. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mayor Bay.